today we'll be talking about anonymous driving cars, what they are, how they're used in Japan, and the goals for Japan and anonymous driving cars. So, anonymous car is a vehicle that's capable of recognizing its environment and operating without a human involvement or passenger in the car at all. So, it could come pick someone up with no person, drop, have someone in it, drive with them, and drop them off safely. And it can go anywhere where a normal car and human can go, and it should have the all the knowledge of an experienced human would have as well. Okay, the reason why I picked Japan is because they're always growing in technology, and whenever I was reading about the anonymous car, I was thinking, wow, this is going to be perfect for Japan. So they want to, in early July, they want to be able to have auto-driving cars for the Tokyo Olympics called SIP, Strategic Innovation Promotion Program, which will ha have about 80 self-driving vehicles, including buses, SUVs, sedans, from the Hyundai Airport, which is closest to the Olympic, where the Olympics will be held. And it will take them around Tokyo and to the Olympics. The one problem with it is that the cars hit the gas sometimes instead of the brake, so that's been an issue. There's been collisions and stuff. So now we're going to play a little game called Two Truths and One Lie. So I'm going to say three things and you have to determine whether it's a truth or a lie. So automotive. Automatic cars will be implemented in Japan for the Olympics. Automatic cars hit the gas instead of the brakes accidentally. Or automotive cars will be more gas efficient.